a patron here who's a very prominent artist and he he's here one of my patrons and I can he, I'm sure he would do it for us and within a day or two he called me up at night and said he's painting he's already out there get your ass over here because you're gonna miss it and so I came and I saw Ford on the ground it was about 10 or 11 at night and he's just going at it with his with his black coat first so Really quickly, Ford, if you just want to say a few words about um, your experience and what, what the, the art says to you. Uh, well, I'm known for kind of being a symbolist painter. I use a lot of symbols and hieroglyphics and pictograms in a very loosely painted format. I kind of, um, if, if any or all of you are familiar with uh, the symbolists of the 19th century, uh, it was first kind of more of a literary movement. It's a little loud over there. Um, the writers were people like Malamé, uh, Baudelaire, uh, Rimbaud, Verlaine, and um, they, um, their poetry was based more on what's called the notion of ambiguity. They, uh, the Surrealists took uh, that sensibility later um, in dealing with the subconscious. But in terms of the Symbolist uh, painters, they were the first to kind of use different elements in different formats to create kind of a hybrid uh, paintings. And, uh, one thing that I thought was very valid with them is they said nothing that I put into that work of art has anything uh, more valid uh, than anything you might see or uh, have intended. So what fascinated me about it was that I was taking different hieroglyphics, different symbols, and using them in a very loosely painted format. I also kind of make my own symbols up, and I sort of have this own language that's mine. Um, in this case, because it was such a long wall, um, I just kind of used a stream of consciousness. Um, it's three coats, obviously, but um, I just kind of kept working into it to create this overall pattern. My paintings are more specific in terms of the imagery, but um, you'll definitely see masks, faces, um, symbols. Um, I, I like a lot of Byzantine symbols because they're very complicated and they have stories to tell. And um, I sort of invented my own language uh, of different um, elements. Um, I love crosses. Um, spirals, just anything I might come up with. Uh, because this was such a long wall, I really just kind of went, as I said, stream of consciousness through it. And um, um, it took me, I don't know, maybe four or five days to, uh, to do, because obviously I had to work when the tables weren't there. So, um, I, but again, you'll see a lot of symbols and so forth that stick out from there. And that's sort of uh, my oeuvre, so to speak. Do, are we answering questions or anything? If anybody has any questions for Ford, I'm sure he'll feel It was a little hard working on wood at first, but then I kind of got the hang of it. Um, it's, just, it's just latex, but it, the nice thing about it, it, was, it dried quickly and it was impervious to the rain, so. Um, is there any wet? Um, I kind of like to use black as a background um, and then build up on top of that. Um, it, it's a little harder on wood, but then I was black, red, and yellow. And, um, you can basically see um, how it pulls itself out of the background. So that's uh, that was the emphasis for basically building the structure there.